profile, report story, blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Hiroshima heard someone knock in the room. He approached the door and opened it expecting to see Kaminari. Man what did you do in the washroom? He teased, only to see Mina standing at the door instead of Kaminari. A Ashido. Seeing Ashido caught him off guard, what are you doing here? And are you okay? You look pinker than usual. The pink girl can't help but blush at the sight of Kirishima. Damn it pull yourself together Mina. She thought, see can I stay here for tea the night? What? Why? He asked but then he realized something. OWW, did you switch with Kaminari so he can be with Jiro? He grinned. Ashido was still blushing at the sight of the boy in front of her but managed to keep it together. Well, I did but now I have to sleep here instead. She pretended to be disappointed. You sure are a supportive friend aren't you? He teased. Ashido smiled at the remark. Well thank you, I try. Well come on in Ashido, he insisted. Damn it Kirishima pull yourself together it, s just Ashido. He thought, Sue what are you up to? Nothing much the guys just finished a meeting though. What meeting? Mina asked. What meeting? He asked back. The guys meeting? She asked confused. Shoot it was supposed to be a secret. Damn it Kirishima, he thought. Well, nothing much. He smiled. Just normal guy stuff. D do you want to play video games? You brought your game thing here, she asked. Game thing. Well I figured, I could just bring it so the guys and I can play. Alright, sure, she cheered. What game are we going to play? We can play a fighting game, he suggested looking at Mina. You sure like this kind of stuff don't you, she grinned. Well you know me, he smiled, I'll teach you the controls. Right. She smiled, he sure looks cute, she thought. So you get the controls right, you ready? Yeah, I'll beat you up you'll see, Mina teased her crush. Well we'll see about that. Moments later, wow this sure is fun, she cheered. Fun for you, you won against me five times. How was that even possible? It's your first time right? Hiroshima sure was butthurt about losing. I was just pressing random buttons, maybe you should have done that, she laughed. He leaned towards her. You played before haven't you? No I didn't. She giggled not looking at him. But when she did she saw how close they are. D do why you w want to do s something else. Promoted stories. You'll also like. Anti-hero. 26K927, Yaoyorozu Momo, Bakugo Katsuki and Todoroki Shoto are top students and unlikely friends from UA Academy, a school in an alternate Japan that has 80% of its entire popule. Rewind, villain Deku, 701K 22.1K. Don't read if you don't want spoilers. Everything is spoiler in here. Read at your own will. Also it's fanfiction. All for one breaks out. He destroys everything. He destroy. My heroes. BNHAX child. Reader. 35.5k707. This book is very old and cringy. And quad. Mom. Dad. And quad. And quad. They're gone. Why n? And quad. And quad. Why did they leave me behind? Did they hate me that much? And quad, and quad, no. The cybernetic hero, 4.6k99. In a world full of quirks Izuku Midoriya is part of the 2% that don't have quirks. After being constantly bullied by his childhood and quad, friend and quad, Midoriya is. Yagi Izuku more than a quirk. 3.3k141. This is the second book in a four book series. Be sure to check out the first before reading this.
Yagi Izuku pushes himself to his limits every day in hope of becoming S. MHA reacts to Paranormal Liberation War. Company, 68.4K 1.7K. Paranormal Liberation War, the event that shook the world of My Hero Academia and turned the entire country of Japan into a lawless land. Many heroes lost their lives in the aftermath BNHA MHA 8.4K 380, a My Hero Academia fanfiction. Have you ever wondered what happened to the students of UA after they left school? After they went their own ways, many students left for Hiroshima realized this looked away. Man, so close. I don't know you think about something, he uttered hiding a slight blush. Maybe it's the right time to ask, she thought. No Mina you'll make it obvious. No, how about I ask him about the guys meeting and see what happens from there. After her inner monologue she finally suggested the topic. Hiroshima, why? He asked as he turns off the turn off the game and the television. Can I ask you about something? Sure what is it? You said you guys had a meeting earlier what is it about? Can you tell me? She grinned. I think the guys wanted to keep it under wraps for now. Oh come on, Hiroshima I won't tell anyone, she insisted not willing to change the topic. Hey I never told anyone how you changed your hair, so you owe me a secret. What I didn't know you could owe a secret. Yep it's something I just invented, she giggled. Fine, he sighed in defeat. So what was it about? She more curious than she had ever been in class. Well Yida called the guy's cause Todoroki needed an opinion on something. Ashido looked visibly confused, huh? Todoroki needed something from you guys. Isn't that a bit unnatural for him? That's what we said, he agreed. Anyways, Todoroki wanted to ask if it is alright to spend time with someone he finds attractive. Her eyes widened and sparked, what? Todoroki finds someone attractive, Ashido, calm down the guys might hear you, oh sorry, so did he tell you guys who that is? I'll get to that later, why can't you tell me now, she made a puppy face. Damn it she looks gorgeous, he thought, I'll get to that, you see apparently Todoroki talked to Uraraka. What? He has a crush on Uraraka. That wouldn't work. Just let me finish Ashido. Right sorry. She giggled. He's so cute when he's frustrated, she thought. Okay so Todoroki asked Uraraka about vacation stuff and she said if he spend time with the person most important to him it can make the vacation extra special, he explained. I can see that. She smiled at him making him blush a bit. So who is this special person? Well it turns out to be Yao Momo. Are you serious? This is perfect. She cheered jumping out of excitement. What is perfect? And don't tell any of the girls. Todoroki wanted to keep it a secret so he can prepare to ask Yao Yorozu on a date, he added. This is perfect because, Ashido whispered, Are you serious? This is perfect. He exclaimed. Hey that's what I said. She pouted. Wow who would have thought. Todoroki and Yaoyorozu. He pointed out looking at Ashido. You really are a great matchmaker Ashido. He smiled at her. Too bad you haven't found yours yet. He teased. Hey. Stop teasing. I'm too tired to chase you around Kirishima. She complained as she laid on Kaminari's bed. I'm just joking Ashido, and who said I haven't found him yet? I found him but he doesn't know yet, she stared at him and smiled. Why is she staring, does she mean? He thought, well, I had a great time Hiroshima good night. Me too Ashido, good night, I'll tell you someday, they both thought before falling asleep. Blank, underscore, 
blank, underscore, blank. Author's note, tell me what you thought of this chapter. I'm kinda wondering how you guys will react on it.